my shawty, we be thugging now. We in your city, we be what now? Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name's Aaliyah, if you're new here, nice to meet you. Make sure you subscribe so that we can stay in touch. But today we're going shopping for self-care and hygiene essentials. I'm so excited, TMI, but it's almost my time of the month and I'm running low on my products, so I need to stock up on that and just like skincare and hygiene products in general. So we're gonna spend some money today. I'm telling you that right now, yesterday was payday. I'm ready to spend my hard earned money, okay? No budget today. I got Got me a venti iced matcha latte with two pumps of chai and vanilla sweet cream cold foam this is my go-to I'm obsessed I hear some people talk about how matcha tastes like grass but if you put some chai in here I swear it just fixes everything mm. Y'all didn't see that. I can't be aesthetic. I'm telling you that right now. Anyways, I live in Canada, for y'all that don't know, so we don't got no Target or nothing. Target came here for a little bit to get us all excited and then dipped. So my options right now are Shoppers, Walmart, yeah. So we might go to both. Depends on what I can find, what I can't find. But let me stop talking and let's go freaking spend some money. <laughs> wanted to try this Verst brand and I didn't know that they had it at the shoppers here so I kind of want to try one of those products. Here I have their Vacation Eyes Brightening Eye Gel. I don't really need that. I don't struggle with dark circles but they also have this Weekend Glow Brightening Solution. So I wonder if this would help me with my dark spots. It's a brightening toner. Targets dark and post acne spots. So I think that this would help me in this situation. But for a more affordable facial toner I love the Thayer's I think I'm saying this wrong, but their facial toner with witch hazel and aloe vera. So since skincare and anything hygiene isn't that cheap and affordable, I'm always so like iffy when it comes to like trying new things because I'm like, I kind of want to hear some reviews and know if it's like worth the price, you know? Here's this brand, Revolution Skincare London, and they have this vitamin C serum. I love the packaging. It's cute. It's basic. It's like 20 something dollars. And what if it does nothing, you know? So if y'all want to recommend me some vitamin C serums, like I'm really trying to up my skincare instead of just wasting money on makeup all the time let me focus on the base too they have a function of beauty and shoppers which i did not know that like i've seen influencers get sponsored by them and all this stuff they got the whole shampoos with the different hair types and you can add stuff into the bottle so like this is anti-frizz and they have color protection deep condition strengthening like that's so cool i don't know how that would do with my hair like they do have some for coily hair so these ones would be for my hair i don't know maybe i'll try in the future they have this whole thing for truly i've always wanted to try this brand because if y'all just see the packaging and see how pretty it is like this is the boot polish that is so cool i kind of want to smell it oh my gosh wait so here they have this moon rocks whipped body scrub i really want to try it so i think i'm gonna get it oh my gosh i love this brand i just love anything coconut like this is their nourishing coconut milk shampoo and conditioner so so good and it's actually like sort of affordable what's crazy to me is that people can afford to spend 270 dollars on a toothbrush it must be good you know but i gotta spend that money elsewhere right now maybe in the future but right now i'm gonna just stick with my you know five dollar three dollar toothbrush i don't know if it's just me but i be taking my v shower pretty much every day probably not that good like i be in there for like 30 minutes every single day i just love hot showers where i feel so clean so i should stock up on a new loofah get me a little pink one i do want to try i think i can only get it online but it's the loofah that you can use up for a whole year because it doesn't like grab all of the germs and stuff as much or something i don't know if i can find a picture of it i'm gonna put it up right here but i really want to try that one so i'm gonna look it up and order it for sure i just wanted to show y'all this cool looking exfoliating sponge it's from the brand this brand however you pronounce that but i just find it's cool it looks different but something i haven't tried yet is dry brushing i heard that is very beneficial but i've never really tried it definitely need to try that for sure there's just so much i need to try there's just so much i don't know like i've been wanting to try the their brush mouthwash i just see everyone using that brand and i've always just been using the crest one they have two here they have the icy mint and then they have the mild mint i feel like icy mint sounds a lot better so this isn't really related 
added to the video as much but when it comes to like travel size stuff this is perfect for like stocking up a guest bathroom which we have now so in the future i definitely want to get like hella stuff this mini gentle skin cleanser like if someone's coming for a couple days this is perfect to have ready for them to use you know i just found this brand called cake so i just automatically need to know what that smells like look at this heavy cream shower wash rich vanilla shea butter deep nourishing oh my gosh shut the fuck up i swear to you it literally smells like cake batter holy crap i don't know if i would want to smell like cake batter but just the fact that this smells like cake batter is really cool like i actually like that and they also have it in this rich bubble bath i wouldn't mind my bubble bath smelling like cake i don't know oh my gosh no cuz <laughs> if i took a bubble bath and it smelled like cake i would be so hungry it's created in canada by the way cruelty free and vegan period i'm actually obsessed with skincare like the way i just want to try everything oh like i've tried avino i've tried nivea neutrogena cerave cetaphil garnier biore i'm definitely saying this so freaking wrong thyers mm girl just shut your mouth let me just stop talking because it's embarrassing but i just want to try everything i just want to know like what if it changes the frick out of my skin all right so i couldn't find my facial wash at walmart but they have it at shoppers it's this cerave cerave foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin this was the cleanser that i tried from cetaphil a gentle skin cleanser and i just find that it was like creamy it wasn't foamy i just didn't like that i already got body wash but i do want to smell this one so I heard that the Method body brand is pretty good. So here we have rose water and cucumber seaweed body wash. So I want to see what this is about. It is plant-based cleansers and good vibes inside. How cute. It smells like feminine and clean. I like that one. And this one just smells like cucumber, which is also clean because like, you know, cucumber water. I'll definitely give this a shot eventually. When I say I always go for Dove, I always go for this specific one, the deep moisture. And it's the dark blue one. I freaking love this. Literally you're washing your body but it feels like you're also putting on hella lotion like Mm -mm, the bomb i remember staying at home with my mom she would always have this brand stocked up and i was like girl first of all the packaging is so cute like what the heck but i do know for a fact that this is the good stuff and this actually benefits people's skin like i'd be seeing the results after using this brand la roche posay <laughs> All right, so we're in the lotion section. It is winter, so my skin is getting very dry. So I need an ultra moisturizing lotion. This Nivea cream is definitely hella moisturizing. I've tried it before, love it. Don't love the price though. Hems cream, oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with this one for sure. They got this apple blossom, age defined, triple moisture. This is usually my go-to, but like I kind of want to try something new because I always, always get the same stuff. Because I love me my cocoa scents. I know Dove is always like moisturizing oh this smells good it's not talking about no deep moisture though i don't i don't mm -mm. so i'm getting this coconut milk and vitamin e hydrating lotion never tried this brand before but it smells so good and it's talking about hydrating so that's what we need it's winter time i completely ran out of makeup wipes so i literally been using like bar soap and just washing my face embarrassing so i need some micellar water they have this all-in-one removes makeup cleanses soothes no rinsing they also have this one talking about purifies not too sure which one i'm gonna get i think just the all-in-one now for body wash i low-key have body wash but i kind of just want to check them out right now because i'm seeing some that are trending and that i've never tried before this is the olay body wash with ceramide this one's open though and i think it's the last one so maybe it's just not my day so native bro i've never tried this brand and everyone's raving about their body wash their deodorant all of that so i kind of want to give it a try it is coconut and vanilla scents sulfate free paraben free dye free i gotta try it this is definitely good for my Bodies. They also got this eucalyptus and mint one, but I kind of want all my scents to match, you know? Let me get this one. Y'all, this soap is the best, okay? It's so moisturizing. Mm. Y'all never got this, get this. We're in the skincare section, my favorite. So since I got some micellar water, I need the little pads, you know? Don't yell at me, but this is organic, so I think this is better for me. Walmart's face masks are literally $3. So if I wanted to do like a little glow up, self-care night, should I get one? Y'all, the way I have to be so slick filming in this store, like I can't even film in every aisle because these workers are so strict. I'm not trying to film you, girl. I'm trying to film myself. Anyways, went in the skincare aisle, worker 
moisture was on my booty so I'm gonna just show you what I picked out I've been wanting to try Korean skincare all right cuz mm, you already know they got the good stuff so I'm gonna try the green tea pure cleansing balm makeup remover um super excited about that I've always wanted to try cleansing balm and it's by the brand yada and I found my CeraVe lotion I just get the normal to dry skin even though I have oily skin I can never find the lotion for oily skin so that's the two skincare products I cannot wait to try this one and it says for sensitive skin which is awesome because even if you don't think you have sensitive skin you should still treat it like it's sensitive because even if your face can handle products still treat it like a baby's booty all right bro I freaking wish we had a target because now that I'm like going around Walmart it is so sad why don't we have half of the products that y'all have my deodorant options are very limited that's why I always go towards men's deodorant because it just lasts longer I don't care if it smells like a man because the scent in my perfume overpowers it anyway so whatever but as I mentioned native has been you know popping off and everyone's talking about it so we do have native but the prices are kind of extreme I guess it must be worth it like it wouldn't be that high if it wasn't good comparing six dollars to sixteen dollars I don't know, I honestly kind of want to hear some opinions about it. Like, is it worth the money? So all these influencers have been getting sponsored by Venice Gillette. It's just a razor. It comes with three little different ones. But it's $22. $22 for a razor? Like, it has to be very good. I don't want to sound cheap or whatever, but... Uh... I'm gonna just give it a try and see if it's worth the hype. So when it comes to shaving cream, I always go for the Gillette brand. Their shaving cream is pretty cheap though. It's like $3.47. Since it is my go-to, I am trying to get out of my comfort zone and try all the products that I hear people loving, you know? So I'm gonna give the EOS shaving cream a try. They only have one scent here though, and it's the pomegranate raspberry. This is an extra $3 than what I usually get. This video is for the girlies, so let me show y'all what I get for my little time of the month. Okay, so I do need to stock up. I'm due anytime now. So I like to go with the U by Cortex, Cortex brand. And I'm gonna just get this Gentle on Skin Ultra Thin pads here. I got me some tampons in the house, okay? So I just need this right now. But I do wanna get some wipes for... But when it comes to that, definitely need unscented. Can't have nothing going on down there that I don't approve, okay? This Equate brand has personal wipes, and it says fresh scent. I don't trust that. It's supposed to say no scent, unscented. So why are you trying to play with me like that, talking about fresh? You already know you put some stuff in here. You already know you put some, you know, perfume in here. I can't do that. So unless I can find one that's unscented, I ain't getting shit. Y'all ain't catching me like that. Something I've been looking for at both Walmart and here is pimple patches. I haven't been able to find some like I remember seeing it at one specific Walmart but that Walmart doesn't want to let me film in there so I can't even show y'all the ones that I found and I didn't end up buying it so that's the one thing out of this whole shopping spree that I could not get <laughs> back home from a long day of shopping and I'm gonna show y'all what I got I really did not get that much because you know that price tag does add up and I really didn't need it that much like I didn't want to have hella products that I'm like not using you know so first thing I got is the native coconut and vanilla body wash super excited to try out this brand in general next I'm trying out this Ren pure coconut milk and vitamin E hydrating body lotion I just saw hydration body lotion and that's honestly what caught my eye that's about it and there's zero sulfates parabens dye gluten and other stuff i can't pronounce so hopefully this does me good for the winter because i need i need milk okay after that i stocked up on my cerave moisturizing lotion it's for normal to dry skin which doesn't really fit me personally because i have oily skin but i cannot find cerave lotion for oily skin maybe i'm just not looking hard enough because that's most likely the case but haven't seen one next thing i'm giving a try is the EOS Shea Better 24 hour moisture shave cream in the scent pomegranate raspberry it's a non foaming shave cream which is cool it says say hello to smooth comfort and close shave okay EOS period and to go with that I got the Gillette Venice for pubic hair and skin razor she had a price tag on her for sure um but I just said it. I was like let me try next I finally got my hands on a cleansing 
balm. I've been wanting to try one for the longest time. This one is by the brand Yada. It's the Green Tea Pure Cleansing Balm Makeup Remover. And it also says that it's for sensitive skin, which is awesome. And Korean skincare, like... Everyone loves it. They know what they're doing. I did get myself some micellar water because it just takes it off so quickly and everything. This is the all-in-one, removes makeup, cleanses. And in order to use the micellar water, I needed to get me some cotton rounds. I just got these cotton rounds. It says it's soft, gentle, absorbent. There's 100 in this pack. It's organic, pure cotton. I was so excited when I saw this brand in Shoppers for the first time. It's a brand truly and I've been seeing it online. I've been seeing people on TikTok like do those pretty like aesthetic shower or bath routines with it. So I need to get my hands on this. So I just got the Moon Rocks Whipped Body Scrub. Their packaging is always so colorful and aesthetic. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to give this a try. But that's literally all I got. I think I spent my money pretty good. Anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell to be notified every single time i upload a new video because your girl's actually consistent now i love and appreciate you so much